possible this is your first time here, and if it is, I commend you for getting up early, or I think it's early, to come to Kid Stuff. But we have a great, great morning plan. You know, Kid Stuff is where kids bring their parents to learn, and you'd say, well, what do we learn about? It's not the normal things that are learned in a classroom environment. No, we learn about what we call life apps, dealing with the character of God, their characteristics that God's doing in us to change the world around us. And as a matter of fact, since you're all here, why don't you all join me and say this month's life app with me? So uh, let's uh, let's try it together. We'll count it down. I'll start at three. We'll go three, two, one, and then I want you to shout it out because I know you all know it. I don't have a doubt in my mind. So are you ready? Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. There it is. Honesty. Let's all say it together. Honesty is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. That's right. You see what it, you guys, it comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 14 that says an honest person has respect for the Lord. And that's really, really key. We're learning about honesty. And I know every home, I would think, Pastor Norv. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't Look at Pastor I want you to look at our bottom line this morning. Take a look at this. Our bottom line is when you are not truthful, you lose trust. And oh boy, here's Tony. Uh, huh? What do you got there? Oh, don't give me what do I got there. Huh? Huh? Tony, what are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I hold in my hand Exhibit A. Proof that Pastor North can no longer be trusted. I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you or did you not last week help me install a brand new mattress into my house? And may I remind you that you are under oath? Under oath? Am I in a court? Pastor Norv, you're on stage at church. You're always under oath. Tony. Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, I did help you move in. And is it not true that after we installed this mattress that I openly declared that I wanted to remove the mattress tag? Yes, you said you always remove the tags off your mattress. And is it also true that you said that um, if I did remove this mattress tag that the mattress police would come and arrest me and they would haul me off? No, I never said that. Tony, you assumed that when you read the tag. Well, I took your silence as agreeing with me. Well, 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 well. Ladies and gentlemen of the Kid Stuff jury, I hold in my hand my mattress tag. And nothing has come of it. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen any police. I haven't been arrested. I, I don't even have a warrant. So I would like you to explain that, Pastor Norm. Well, Tony, actually, I think your conscience is probably getting the better of you. And <laughs> I don't think so, Pastor Norm. I have this in my hand, and it really shows that I can no longer trust this man. <laughs> so, Pastor Norm, you can no longer be trusted as far as I'm concerned. Tony, you're supposed to sleep on that large, flat, cushy side of the mattress. No, no. Come in! Uh, pardon your interruptions, but uh, I'm looking for a Tony. Um, is he here? or is, um, I'd like to have a word with him. Um, okay, I should have believed you. Um, so um, I'm sorry what I have to do. Okay, all right, I'll see you later. Wait, wait. Arrest him! Arrest him! He's the one! He made me do it! Oh, well, I was just wanted to tell him that he left, left the lights on on his car and that if he didn't shut him off, the battery would be dead. Thanks, officer. You bet. Have Mighty a good day. kind of you. <laughs> Very honest man there. Hey, to be honest with you, I think Tony maybe carried things a little bit too far this morning. <laughs> when doesn't he take things too far? But needless to say, um, it's going to be a great day in kid stuff nonetheless, but I think I need to go and Telling to just kind of settle down and welcome to Kids. Tony!